Hey, brother. Earlier this year, we basically proved that Andy from Toy Story had a monster. And since then, I've been getting tons of requests to look into the identity of Pixar's newest young child, Inside Out's Riley. <laughs> If you stuck around to the end of my video last week, you'll recall that I played another portion of my interview with Pete Docter, who, conveniently enough, directed both Monsters, Inc. and Inside Out, so he's pretty much the best source we could ask about the identity of Riley's monster. Here is the rest of that clip. You directed Monsters, Inc. Mm -hmm. and you directed Inside Out. Does Riley have a monster? Hmm. You know what? I've never thought of that. Really? Um, Probably she did when she was younger. Uh, yeah. As you can probably tell from that answer, who Riley's monster is is not something they really put a lot of thought into, and yet, Pete does say she probably had one. With that in mind, this video is going to be a little bit more speculative as there might not be a concrete answer. But just because Pete hasn't been thinking about it doesn't mean I haven't. The question then is, who is Riley's monster? We know at the end of Monsters, Inc., they switch over from scaring kids to trying to make them laugh. That's in the year 2001, at least on the human side of the doors. Riley is 11 in 2015, meaning she was born in 2004. So, whatever monster was coming through her door would be trying to make her laugh, not make her scream. An interesting note on this is that when we see inside Riley's subconscious, we learn that she is afraid of clowns, which means something that normally would make you laugh, a clown, is actually what she's afraid of, and something you you would normally be afraid of, a monster is what's making her laugh. Crazy, right? My question then is how is she interpreting this thing that is trying to make her laugh? Well, according to Bing Bong, when Riley was three, animals were all the rage. So that suggests to me that by that point, she was able to identify a lot of different animals. But obviously whatever monster was coming through her door wouldn't be an animal she could identify because, you know, monsters aren't animals, but they often look like a combination of several animals. Like, for example, Sully kind of looks like a combination of a bear, a cat, kitty, and a ram. And who do we know from Inside Out that is a combination of several animals? Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing bong, bing bong. But don't go crazy just yet. I am not suggesting that Bing bong himself is the monster, but I do think he was partially inspired by her monster. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, Jay, bing bong tells us everything he was inspired by. Elephant, cat, cotton candy, and dolphin. He doesn't say anything about a monster. That is true, but if you go back and watch that scene again, you'll notice that he references every single part of his body except his legs. In fact, the Disney Pixar Facebook page also just posted this image of Bing Bong, which once again references all of his body parts except his legs. My guess is that her monster is what inspired the legs, but because she was unable to identify that animal, she, and therefore Bing Bong, would not be able to identify what inspired them. So, which monster on the laugh floor could have inspired orange and yellow striped furry legs? That's right, it's none other than Mr. 2319 himself, George Sanderson. Just look at him. I mean, even the rest of him kind of reminds me of Bing Bong. He's big and round and fluffy. He even has a striped short tail and something coming out of his face. I mean, his is a horn as Bing Bong has a trunk, but still. So Ben, my question for you and everybody else is, do you think George Sanderson is Riley's monster? Like I said earlier, this is probably a less concrete answer, but I do think he's the most likely candidate, and I would love to hear you guys' feedback down in the towel section. Also, before I sign off, I need to give another shout out to moviepilot.com for sending me out to San Francisco to talk to Pete Doctor and get all this awesome content for you guys. I will put a link to my profile on moviepilot.com down in the description box. I totally recommend you go check it out. It is a great site, and you will easily get lost in some of the other movie, TV, entertainment and stuff they're posting. Ben, that's it for me, but I will see you in another life, brother. These socks are amazing! Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you need even more Super Carlin Brothers and you like listening to podcasts, I would recommend to you the Decast. The most recent episode, episode number 48, features a great interview with Ben and myself talking all about my trip to Pixar and the good dinosaur, a little bit of Harry Potter, a little bit of Star Wars. It's a really great episode. We just recorded it with the guys over there. We love working with them, and I recommend you go check it out. I'll put a link to that down in the description as well. If you haven't yet, please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you're not. Thanks.